Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to simplify radicals by reducing the index of the given radical. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. So this is learning task 1B of weeks 5 to 6 of your module. If you want me to solve the learning task 1A weeks 5 to 6 of your module, please write yes in the comment section below. Okay, so this is number 1. We try to reduce the given index here. Okay, we try to simplify this um, radical expression using the smallest possible index, okay? Um, my suggestion is you try to write this into rational exponent form, okay? So it's like this, um, 16 raised to 1 over 6, like that, okay? After nyo magawa yan, you try to find the prime factors of 16. Madali lang yun. All you have to do is to recall factor 3. Okay? Dito natin gawin. 16. Diba? Alam nyo ang 16, ano yung factors of 16 na naiisip ninyo. For example, um, 4 times 4. Naisip nyo yun. Right? And then next, um, ang 4, 2 times 2. Gagayahin ko lang para sa other 4. You have like that. Okay? So, ito yung tinatawag na prime factors ni 16. So, you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or, it can be written as 2 raised to 4. Yeah? So, 16 is equal to 2 raised to 4. Okay? So, I'm going to replace 16 here. Okay, I'm going to write um, 2 raised to 4. Yeah, that's 16. And then this one is raised to 1 over 6. Okay, and then you recall the laws of exponents. Okay, if you have a power raised to another power, you multiply them. Okay, so what do you get? You're going to have 2 raised to what is 4 times 1 over 6? Okay? So, kapag hindi kaya, pwede naman kayong mag-scratch kunyari dito. Okay? So, 2... Ay, sorry. 4 times 1 over 6. Parang ganyan. Okay? So, imagine nyo may 1 dito. So, parang 4 times 1, you'll get uh, 4... And then, 1 times 6, you'll get 6. Okay? So, pag nahihirapan kayo, pero dapat madali na yan, right? So, you'll have like that. Okay? Tapos, this is 4 over 6. You can still simplify this by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, the final answer becomes um, 2 Raise 2, what is 4 divided by 2? You'll get 2. What is 6 divided by 2? You'll get 3. Okay? So, ito yung sagot in rational exponent form. Kung gusto nyo in radical expression, pwede naman. It can be written in this way. Ito ko ilalagay. So, it's equal to, pwede ganito ha, cube root of 2 squared. Okay? So, that will be cube root of 4. Okay? So, this is the simplest form. Okay? Ito na yung pinaka maliit na index na pwede. Okay? The smallest possible index for number 1. What about number 2? Here, you may want to multiply the indices. Diba? Anong index kapag hindi nakasulat? It's 2. So, you'll have 3 times 2, you will get 6. So, 6 root of 64. Pwede yung ganon. Okay? So, let me write. You can have um, can have 3 times 2, you will get 6 root of 64. Pwede yung ganyan. Or, 
Pwede naman, retain ninyo ang cube root. Yeah? And then, you evaluate square root of 64. Okay? Saan equal ang square root of 64? It is 8. Okay? So, replace ko na yung square root of 64 by 8. That's why I only have cube root of 8. Kasi pinalitan na niya na yung square root of 64. Okay? So, kahit alin dito will give you the same answer. Alright? Okay. So, let's proceed. Well, ang cube root of 8, it's 2. Okay? Pero kung gusto niyo makita bakit 2, ganito lang yun. Diba? I suggest you write this with rational exponent like that. And then, you try to get the prime factors of 8 using the factor 3, which is very easy, right? Because 8 is just 4 times 2. Right? And then 4, it's 2 times 2. So, you only have 3 twos. Okay? So, 8 is equal to 2 cube. Okay? So, this becomes 8 is 2 cube. Okay? And then raise to 1 third. Okay? And then you simplify. Okay? 3 times 1 third. Nakita nyo? Magka-cancel lang naman yung 3. You only have 2 as the final answer. So, repetitive lang yung method. Paulit-ulit nyo lang gagawin. Okay? All you have to do is to practice the method para mas masanay kayo. Alright? Okay, let's do more. What about number 3? Again, what is our method? Try to express this into rational exponent form. Like that. Okay? Tapos, yung 32, hanapin nyo yung mga prime factors. Okay? So, please verify that 32 is equal to 2 raised to 5. Okay? It's 2 times 2, you have 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2, 32. Alright? Okay, so I'm going to replace 32 by 2 raised to 5. So I'm going to have 2 raised to 5. That's your 32. And then I'm going to copy 1 over 10. Kita nyo? Okay. And then, you have a power raised to a power, you multiply them. So, you will get 2 raised to 5 over 10. Okay? And then, you simplify 5 over 10. Right? This one is equal to 2 raised to 1 half. Right? Divide this by 5, divide this by 5. So, you will get this. And then, if you want to write this in radical form, this is equal to square root of 2. Okay, down to our last two examples. Again, same method. Isulat natin ito in rational exponent form. Like that. Okay? Tapos, hanapin natin ang prime factors ng 81. O, dito, gawin ulit natin. 81, this is 9 times 9. Okay? Ang 9 times 9, 3 times 3. Right? Okay? So, nakita nyo, 81 is equal to 3 raised to 4. Right? Okay, I'm going to replace 81 by... Um, 3 raised to 4. So, I'll have 3 raised to 4 raised to 1 over 12. Okay? Tapos, if you simplify, you will get 3 raised to 4 over 12. Okay? Simplifying further, what do you get? You will get 3 raised to 1 over 3. Okay? And then writing this in its radical form, you will have cube root of 3. This is the final answer. Easy, right? Okay, down to our last number. Same method. 729 raised to 1 over 12. Okay? Tapos. Ano kaya ang mga prime factors ng 729? So, 7 
2, 9. So, ang naiisip ko kaagad, 9 eh. So, 9. 9 times, you divide this by 9. What do you get? 81. Okay? And then, itong 81, it's 9 times 9. Right? And then, that's it. Um, ang 9, alam nyo naman, 3 times 3. Right? Ito, 3 times 3 din. Okay? Ito, 3 times 3. So, ilang 3 to? Ilan yan? Anim. So, you'll have your 729 is equal to 3 raised to 6. Okay? So, that's why I'm going to replace 729 by 3 raised to 6. And then, I will just copy the exponent here. The rational exponent. 1 over 12. Okay? And then, I will simplify. This becomes 3 raised to 6 over 12. And then, simplifying further, we'll have 3 raised to 1 half. Okay? Writing this in its um, radical form, you'll have square root of 3. This is the final answer. Okay, grade 9 kids, please let me know kung anong learning task ang gusto nyong makita in my next video. Okay? Just write your requests in the comment section below. Okay, I think that's it. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Okay, thank you for watching. See you in my next video.